Hi there, everyone, and happy Friday. This is Deb Shell. I am the creator of Find Calm Here LLC. I help entrepreneurs build, launch, and grow online communities. If you haven't met me yet, or if you met me through other <laughs> facets of life, <laughs> let's say, I'm a multi potentialite, so I have done many, many things. And video is not something. <laughs> that I typically get really excited to do, but um, I've started to do some YouTube videos and I've neglected Facebook quite a bit. So I wanted to switch back over to Facebook today and to just share with you uh, something that I'm doing um, as a weekly um, thing for YouTube, which is called Blog Bites. <clears throat> so every week I've been writing blog posts and I post them up on the website, on the findcalmhere.com website, but also I post them on LinkedIn and I also post them on my Medium blog. So um, these are all content posts from excerpts of the Creator to Community Builder book. So uh, just to let you know that <laughs> the Creator to Community Builder book update is written I received the manuscript this week uh, from the line editor, and so we will be um, reviewing, I will be reviewing the manuscript this weekend, uh, so uh, going through that again this weekend with another review, and hopefully I will have um, an edited manuscript ready for copy editing by the end of this month. My plan as of right now is to... Um, share with you an advanced reader group by mid-July. So if you haven't already registered, go to findcalmhere.com, click on where it says book. It will take you to the landing page that uh, you sign up for the advanced reader group. That will get you access to the free copy of a digital download to the PDF of the Creator to Community Builder book when it comes out. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you, but then I also wanted to share with you the blog post that I wrote that I published today. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm just going to uh, briefly chat with you about this. Again, if you go to blog on my website here on findcomhere.com, you'll be able to uh, find past blog posts. If you're new to Find Calm Here, um, and I did upgrade my website over the course of 2023. I've been updating the website. And so just to give you some updates here, there's a start here button. And if you click on start here, you'll see that I have a little video that gives you a tour of the website. And then there's some buttons that you can click to explore the website content because I've gotten quite a bit of content between blog posts and videos and, um, podcast episodes. So just wanted to give you that. Okay, so back to the blog. So today's blog post is all about community architecture. And one of the things that recently I've been working with, I don't know if you're familiar with Mighty Networks, but I've been working with Mighty Networks. And just to sum up really quickly, Mighty Networks is a platform um, for people who want to bring together their community course participants, the, a group. So consider like a Facebook group. It's not Facebook, but it's a similar version of this. The benefits to creators or to course builders or people who want to lead a, a program, the benefits using Muddy Networks is that there's no algorithm to fight. So for instance, there, and there's no advertising. So it's very much your own branded community platform. And I've been helping entrepreneurs build this since 2020 when I launched my own community and learned a lot through the process. The biggest things that I've learned is that a lot of community builders struggle with just the foundation of who this community is for, what problem you solve, and what are they going to do together and how are they going to solve the problem together? But once you get past those things, so if you have those things down, like you are miles ahead of the game, <laughs> but once you have those things down, you can start to have some really cool, fun times exploring community platforms and understanding 
the navigation features that you could design within your own community. This is also where a lot of community builders get really lost very quickly. Um, a lot of challenges uh, recently I've seen, especially since the Mighty Network has upgraded to their spaces model, is that a lot of hosts are experiencing a lack of engagement. And what I see is that's because there are a lot of different opportunities for members to now access with multiple spaces. If you've created, you know, one, two, if you've created more than three spaces in your community, that gives an opportunity for members to collaborate or to share content in multiple spaces. And that then creates problems because people won't know where to post unless you really guide them and tell them where they are to post. So this kind of came up in a client um, experience pretty recently that a client of mine I worked with in the beginning of the year had said they really struggled with engagement since the space is upgrade. And I said, well, let's focus in on one area that we can get these members in a targeted space where we can create, have them create content in that one targeted space and then tell them and encourage them to do that there. And so we kind of started to work on building a campaign and to really encourage, here's where you post to share your wins, to share your photos, to, um, you know, ask uh, another member if you need something, all those kinds of polls, questions, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I also like to think about <laughs> communities are really like websites and thinking about a website, you have to think of that as your network is your website. So members come in and if they don't know exactly what they're supposed to do, they may not ever come back. And so that's where it's really important to guide them on that path. So depending on who the person is and where you would like them to explore to, um, that has to be guided to them. You know, it's not helpful to say, you can do all of these things because that's too overwhelming for people. In a world where we have way more choices, people want to, to have you tell me, I, I want you to tell me, <laughs> just tell me where I should go and what I should do. Uh, anything that can make the decision-making process easier for me is going to be helpful. So if you can do that for me or for your members, that's going to be really helpful. Um, so I have some tips at the bottom here of the blog where um, just give you some questions to consider thinking about uh, the online communities or courses that you've taken. I'm sure you've taken a course. I'm sure you've taken um, some kind of training or online programs, or maybe you've been in a coaching program. Explore the navigation of that program. What did you like about it? What features did you not like? Um, who was posting in there and who wasn't posting? Um, was there a place for you to put questions or answer somebody else's question? Um, was there a way for you to connect really to the members? The, the, the biggest other problem I see with community builders is that they struggle around the connection component. Like they think that their members are just going to automatically drop into this community and then meet each other. And that's not really what happens. We don't go into a meeting, into a brand new conference that we don't know anybody. And then, I mean, the, some of, okay, let me pause on that. Cause some people are like, no, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> so the extroverts in the room <laughs> might be like, oh, I totally love going into a room where I don't know anyone. So those people might certainly reach out to others. They're going to be few and far between. Most of your people, unless they already know each other, are not going to reach out to each other unless they are given that opportunity. And typically that opportunity is meaning direct con contact either in person or best uh, scenario is a Zoom call uh, where you have a breakout room and two people can really build a relationship with each other in like a five minute breakout room, for example. Or if you do a pairing program where you match up two people and then they can set up a time when they can get together and they can determine, determine how that 
meeting is going to take place, whether it's in person or on a phone call or on a Zoom call or whatnot. Um, okay, those are my thoughts for this Friday. Um, if you have questions, please feel free. My email is at the bottom of this email. Send me an email, any questions you have at find call, a deb at findcomhere.com. Again, if you are interested in uh, signing up for the book, the Advanced Reader Summer Cohort, uh, again, hopefully we'll be starting that sometime July, August, probably August. I'm going to be honest. It's probably going to be more like August at this point. I don't know, but I'm hoping for August. Um, a lot of it depends on other people. That's just the reality. So uh, this is the page that gives you a little bit of background on the book. And so if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I'm really excited to um, dive in and start helping more people um, build these amazing communities that are helping people transform and, you know, move away from this whole comparison, like social media, these, you know, I'm on Facebook right now, but I'll tell you, I have really struggled in the last two years with social media and this whole idea of comparison of should my life be like somebody else's life or why isn't my life like this? And, um, yeah. And just recently, just yesterday, I had a conversation with somebody and was saying, you know, it's just, we're, we're in a different time, right? We're in a different phase of the world, uh, where interesting conversations are happening and we're at the, just at a point where a lot is going to change and it's ex exciting and I'm glad to be a part of it. And community is going to be the, at the forefront. I believe <laughs> community is going to be at the forefront of the next 50 years of our culture of how we're going to communicate, how we're going to educate ourselves, how we're going to teach our kids and our um, colleagues about how to connect and communicate and learn. So I'm excited. <laughs> and I think um, I'll, I'm excited to get this book into your hands. And so if you have any questions, again, shoot me an email. I'm going to pause for today. And thanks for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed this. If anyone was saying hi, hi. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care.